In this video, we're going to be using the tangent function in a real-world application of finding the height of an object in the sky that is sighted by two different objects. Now let's say we have two police vehicles, A and B, sorry, A and B, that are sighting uh, the same object and they know their distance between them. It's a one-mile marker, say, that just separates them and then we're going to write that as 5,280 feet. The angle of elevation from vehicle B to the object in the sky is 39 degrees. The angle of elevation from vehicle A to the object in the sky is 52 degrees. With just this little bit of information, we're going to be able to calculate the height of the UFO. We'll call that H. Now the first thing that we're going to have to do is be comfortable in using an extra variable for just a short period of time. And that extra va variable is going to be this h. The other thing that we're going to have to be comfortable with is using this information, 5,280 feet, to write variable expressions. And by that I mean this. We're going to say that we don't know this distance here that's actually the main problem. We don't know this distance here, nor do we know this distance here. But we do know that their sum equals 5,280. Therefore, I'm going to write that this length here is x. From vehicle B to directly underneath the UFO can't be measured, but we're going to call it x. Since there's a mile in between them, we can call this length here 5,280 minus x. So again, at this stage, we're going to be comfortable using h, we're going to be comfortable labeling this x, and we're going to use the fact that the sum of these two distances is 5,280 to label this side 5,280 minus x. We can put parentheses around that if we'd like. So the first, the first thing we're going to do is realize there are two triangles in this diagram, and we're going to write our, tr our trig ratios as follows. We're going to write the tan of 39 degrees equals h over x. When we do our cross products, we get h times 1 equals the tan of 39 degrees times x. H times 1, which is h, equals the tan of 39 degrees times x. And we can change the tan of 39 degrees into a number. So now we can write h equals 0.8098x. Now on the other side we can write the tan of 52 degrees so for this angle, the tan of 52 degrees equals h over 5,280 minus x. And again, when we do our cross products, we get h times 1, or h, equals the tan of 52 degrees times, and we have to put this in parentheses, so we remember to distribute 5,280 minus x, h equals, now we change the tan of 52 degrees into a decimal number. Okay, so that's really all we're doing here, is we're changing this into its decimal equivalent. And we're going to multiply that by 5,280 minus x, and we get h equals, again we have to distribute this, so we multiply 1.28 by 5,280, which gives us 6,758 and 4 tenths minus 1.28x. So this is what we have for h on this side, and this is what we have for h on this side. And this is our big, big leap here. We know that the height is the same. 
the height of this object is the same for both of these triangles. So what we're going to do next is we're going to eliminate the middleman. H is equal to itself. So now we can say 0 0.809 at X is equal to that this whole thing here is going to be equal to this. It allows us to set up our next equation. Oops. Now here's the thing we have here. a term with x on this side and a term with x on this side. And just in terms of general equation solving, our strategy is going to be here to add 1.28x to both sides. Get the variable on one side, collecting the variable on one side. So we're going to add 1.28x here and here, and this cancels out. And when we add these two values, these like terms, we get 2.0898x, and that's equal to 6,758 and 4 tenths. Again, we're trying to get the variable by itself, so we're going to be dividing both sides by 2.0898. Okay, to cancel this out, multiplying by x, we're going to divide, divide both sides to get the x by itself, and we end up with x equals 3,233 and 99 hundredths. Again, let's just round that up. Now the problem is this is not our final answer. As some of you might remember, when we go back to our original diagram, this is simply one of the distances on the ground. So now what we have is that this triangle, again we've still got the 39 degrees here, the 52 degrees here, but now we know that this distance here, which was previously x, is 3,200 and we're going to write that as 34 feet, rounding up. This is h, and as we can see now we have enough information on this triangle to easily calculate what h is. Now if we wanted to, we could take 5,280 minus 3,234 to get this distance here and use this triangle to find h, but we have enough to work with at this point. So now we can say that the tan of 39 degrees equals h over 3,234, and we already know that tan of 39 is, but anyway, h times 1 is tan of 39 times 3,234, so doing this calculation gives us our h, and we end up with 2,618 and 8 tenths as the height of our UFO. Now, obviously, again, our way of checking this answer is fairly easy. Um, we can calculate this distance here. Use the 52 degrees, tan of 52 equals h over. When we do this, we end up with uh, 2046. So once again, and this is this is also a good way of checking this type of problem, h times 1 equals tan of 52 times 2046. And when we do that, we get h equals 2618.76, which rounds to 8 tenths. So we, we're kind of verifying that, that we do get the same answer. This is an example of um, using the tangent function and really not a lot of given information to get an answer.